What's up, little kittens? I am Lace Gasm. Oh no, no, that's the wrong channel. <laughs> I am Sim Gasms, your Sim host, and today I'm going to be doing a video where I collab with the amazing, extravagant. You know what? Hold on. Let me. Let me. Uh... Few moments later. Amazing, astonishing, astounding, surprising, bewildering. One hour later. Breathtaking, perplexing, awesome, awe-inspiring, sensational. <sighs> Linsane Gaming. Yeah, that's right. You're here first with Semgasm's Linsane Collab. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> So yeah, um, me and her decided that we were going to do a trailer park, and um, do we're going to do a couple of trailers. At first I was really confused, because I was like, wait, how, how are we going to do this? Because this is, of course, my first collab ever, so I was like, are we going to each build a shell first, or are we going to build like our own trailer and decorate it, and then send it to each other, or like... How is this gonna work? I was very confused. I, I was once, I was once a noob in in the whole, whole art of collabs. But lucky for me, Miss Lin Sane was extremely patient and very friendly and helpful. So, um, what we ended up doing was we were both going to make our own shells, and then we were going to switch. She was going to decorate the one that I sent her, and then she was going to send back an empty shell to me, and I was going to decorate that one. And, um, oh my god. <laughs> Granted, this is a very, very, very small trailer, and I didn't mean for it to be so small. I just, I honestly had no idea what I was doing. When I was thinking of trailer, I guess I was thinking of trailer hitch, not trailer house. So... I ended up making it really small and I thought she was gonna make like another small one and then we were gonna have like all this room but no I'm glad that she did like a trailer house because <laughs> it actually kind of goes together I don't know when I, I saw hers I was like oh thank god <laughs> like like okay so we don't have that much room on the lot because I don't know for me it, it kind of bothers me when there's just like so much room around the lot because then I'm just like oh my gosh I gotta landscape everything I gotta put a rock here and I gotta put a rock there and it's just it gets really insane for my mind but yeah so mine ended up being super 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 girly and hers came out kind of like a distressed military trailer which is kind of cool because <laughs> granted they both are very um very mismatched it kind of it blends into the environment really well and I like it so yeah her the way that she designed it was freaking amazing with what she did with such a small space i was just very impressed it was so cute and so homey it was kind of sad though because um she has an expansion pack that i don't or like stuff packs that i don't so a couple of her decorations and build items were not showing up for me so it's kind of sad about that i think it was mainly like wallpaper and then there's like a couple posters and stuff but if you guys want to go see how she decorated it you guys should definitely go to her channel and watch it and also hit that says scribble button because not only does she create amazing little small trailers but she does super cool things like um she's doing a black widow challenge right now and her character is so funny she was <laughs> She was yelling at this guy that she locked in her house because he wouldn't leave and I was just laughing the whole time But yeah, she also gave me inspiration for the uh, flea market living slash let's play that I'm doing right now Currently, I kind of it took me a couple of tries to figure out exactly how it was gonna play through bringing in the flea market living gameplay So yeah, uh, she's definitely one of my inspirations on YouTube right now and uh, I'm very grateful that I got to chill with her and talk to her and do this little collab with her and I hope that I'll be able to do more with her in the future but yeah you guys should definitely go check that out check her out um, all those descriptions and links are in down below under under the video right there yeah so uh, let's get into designing this so of course I had to place down that listening device I mean that's the whole entire point of Strangerville is to snoop on the people around you to figure out a secret I forgot the toilet some scrub. I wanted to add lots of plants into the trailer to kind of make it um, homey. That's just me. I, I just have to add plants to everything. 
and anything. But honestly, it just seems like adding plants just kind of wrap up in an environment that you're making, no matter the type of build. So here I started working on the living room. Um, I really wanted to use that cabinet because it kind of gives me like an old timey feel like it was passed down to you by a great grandmother, a great grandfather um, for the TV stand. And then here I wanted to add the little miniature TV. I was having some issues because I forgot to take out my custom content. So when you filter the stuff for just the game content to show, it doesn't show the base game content, which doesn't make sense to me. So I ended up having to change that later on so that I would be able to find a majority of stuff. So it kind of became a little hectic and I was all over the place. I added those crates for a little extra touch of realism, especially because when I was making the trailer I kind of saw it as um, someone who served in the military had lived here, so um, I kind of wanted it to seem as if those were like his military gears or items or if he was stockpiling for a rainy day or like an apocalypse or a possessed takeover of some sort. He was prepared. He was prepared for things. And then I started adding some interior to the walls. I wanted to use that wanted poster from the Get to Work pack to kind of make it seem like he was maybe researching some disappearances that were linked to all of the things happening in Strangerville that caused the outbreak of the spores. And then I really wanted to use those spot stains. When I first saw them, I was like, oh my gosh, I want to use this in a build. Especially like a build that may be a little bit more run down or older. A lot of trailers usually have like the mold spots and stuff and I knew that I was going to use them. So I wanted to kind of add that. I ended up changing that little grimoire and the door to the bathroom later because uh, I forgot the bathroom. I forgot, uh, I forgot the toilet and so I ended up fixing that. I think I did the updated version of the trailer in the description no not in the description on the gallery if you guys want to go re-download that or if you already fixed it i do apologize so yeah i was just rummaging around with kind of ideas that i wanted to keep that that little cabinet no matter what but it didn't work because i couldn't put the tv on it so i had to change that out and then i was adding a couple things to the kitchen i wanted it to be tiled but i forgot that i had custom content enabled so I had to watch out for that. I had to rechange those out again. I changed it to dirty carpet but it was just like way too dirty. Like I just couldn't look at it. I was just like oh my god it's just like it looks like somebody just found this trailer and it's been abandoned for thousands of years and I was like well you know I guess I'll just do concrete for it because it's kind of like a plain look. It still looks like carpet but it's just not as dirty. And then I was adding all the like rustic wear and tear around, kind of matching with the outside of the trailer. If it was up to me, I would have made the inside like super, super, super clean and neat and fanciful. But I was like, no, get into the vibe, you know, and try and try and mimic the look of the trailer on the outside. You know, you gotta you gotta give it personality inside as well as outside so I ended up adding the wear and tear I added some mi mixed mi mix matched mismatched mismatched furniture and um, I had forgot that I did didn't get the dining table so I was trying to get like the cheap kind of used looked items I wanted to do the mismatch on those chairs but I was like yeah we better not we'll just leave it like that and then I was adding the posters around for um, added personality. I really wanted that moving frame in because I think that's like one of the coolest little decorative items that they added in this pack. The, the moving picture is just genius. I can't wait to figure out how to learn how to mesh with that so that I could do my own. Um, I think you would do that through Blender. I think. I didn't know. And then, yeah, I was just adding, like I said, more interior details to the walls, added some more plants, because honestly, plants make up everything. So as I moved out to the patio, I kind of wanted to give it uh, like a get-together vibe, like a trailer, 
trailer park version of a get together. So I added the barbecue and then um, eventually I think I added a chair and table. I also wanted to make sure that it was lit up at night because I didn't realize that I forgot to put a bunch of lights outside. So I was doing that really quickly, just kind of illuminating the grass, so to say. And yeah, this is uh, when I started adding that table that I was talking about. I wanted to do the mismatched chairs outside, so I did do that. I just added one with the cushion and one without. I added those plants because I noticed that almost every house in this um, in this pack has potted plants. And I think that's because the main purpose of their storyline is the fact that you are solving this mystery. So what they want you to do is they want you to go and kind of communicate with the plants that are just randomly around the world. I think the option is to mother them. They will drop uh, this fruit which you can basically plant and then I think you use that somewhere in the storyline later on. I was trying to add curtains to there because I, I like open windows but you know I, I figured since they are more of like a paranoid sim or like a sim who served in the army they kind of respect their privacy so they don't always want their windows to be open while they're trying to spy on the government and stuff i did want to add that sign but that wasn't going to happen then i had to add the extra detail of having the papers and stuff around because i mean they're doing a bunch of research they're trying to figure out what the heck is going on with the world what the government is hiding and since they had a little bit more access, since they did once serve, um, they have a little bit more of the history and the older papers that kind of show what they were doing before he got released and stuff started going down. So yeah, I just added a bunch of little interior and that was about it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to give Lindsay a lookout. Go see her version of the collab and go see how she decorated my super cute trailer. Thanks for coming back and nika nika.